Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together. Today we're going to be reviewing the Math Mammoth Grade 1 curriculum. Now there's no K curriculum specifically with the Math Mammoth, but they do have a review at the beginning of the Grade 1 book, and we'll see that in a few moments. Now with the Math Mammoth curriculum, we have done a full review, and that review is down in the show notes below, so feel free to check that out if you're looking for a more in-depth review today. We're going to be doing a simple walkthrough and showing you all the various books, showing you how to use it, and showing kind of what it looks like. In the Math Mammoth curriculum, there are workbooks, there's a test book, and there's an answer key. So you get a lot of books. You know, I have four in front of me right now. Um, they do focus on mastery. So there's eight chapters across two workbooks. So if you can think about how you're going to be doing an entire school year and how you'll break up eight chapters over the course of, say, eight nine months you'd be basically doing one a month so if you could think about it in that ma in that manner so one chapter a month and at the end of that chapter there's an exam so it's it is following a mastery based method all the workbooks together is about fifty dollars so not not very bad they have a lot of web links in these books so if you need additional materials the different additional references so maybe some you know uh, manipulative uh, computer manipulative games they have a ton of that for you and then, as I said earlier, there's a test at the end of each chapter. So if you have a little bit of concerns about testing. So let's get into it. So with the Math Mammoth, I have the A, oh, the a and the B books here. But we were not going to look at the B book because it's basically just like the A book. So let's look at the A book. Very simple. There's obviously a mammoth. So they're staying with the mammoth theme, which is always nice. Um, the nice little table of contents at the beginning of every single book. So you can see chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and a little bit of an explanation of what they're doing. Now, the, right at the beginning, as I said earlier, there's a kindergarten math review that I think that goes for about five or six pages just to assess where your learner is and if they are up to the, the standards of continuing with this curriculum or if you need to do a little bit more learning before you start. So great little indicator there. So at the beginning of every chapter, is a nice write-up, really in-depth of what you're going to tackle. And the reason why I like this is that if you're an instructor or you're a teacher and you want to understand what you're trying to, you know, introduce to your learner, it's always very nice to have a little bit of a guide there for you. Um, as you can see, it goes for about two pages and then a nice assessment. So every chapter is broken up into individual lessons. And you can see those here. There's about 12, 15 of them. They tell you what page those are. They have additional games as well, how to play them, variations, the rules, what you might need to do that. So it's always very nice. And as we said earlier, web links, and these will be on every single chapter. Okay. Once you start into the actual curriculum, you'll see it's not a very visually based curriculum. I mean, there's some shapes and there's problems, but as you can see, very much you're just doing a lot of problems. Okay. So there's a lot of repetition. Obviously math can be very repetitious and you want to learn concepts and you can see that. Very often on every single block of work, they will start with an example, indicating what the, what the user needs to do, also helping you explain to the learner what they need to do. And as you can see, as you flip through a little bit of uh, instructions at the top, so you could imagine that your learner would come in, say, okay, we're gonna do a couple pages today, honey. Let's go ahead and get into it. You'll read to them what they have to do. Maybe you'll help them with the first one and you can step away have them continue to work on the examples and you can see that pattern continues throughout the book as you can see more and more examples you know how to how to how, how, write how many dots and then add them together um, addition practice so just more more and more practice they do have some creative um, differences on how they're approaching them but basically it's just the same type of you know re repetitive addition problems so you can get that kind of that muscle memory that math muscle memory now as i said when you get to the end of a chapter, let's explore what a chapter looks like. At the very end, I think it's 64. Yep, here we go. So now you're at the end of the chapter. They perform a review for a couple pages. They perform a, a, a complex review of what they learned before it hits the next chapter. Now, that's not where you'll end. You'll end here, and what you'll then move into is your test. And this is the testing book. So tests and cumulative reviews. Also, if you need, answer keys are available for not just the workbooks, but also the tests. So workbook A, B, C, and the tests as well. So as you get into the cumulative tests, it gives you all the information you need to know in the contents. All right, so then you get to the first chapter, 
how many questions there are, what are the points, so if you're gonna grade it, instructions to the teacher on how to grade that, and then you have the math, the math test. Now, these are first graders, <laughs> so they're not gonna have a very long test. It's a single page, so as I flip to the next one, it'll be chapter two, so obviously this is just chapter one. Very simple, they have one, two, three, four, five sets of, uh, of questions exploring different aspects, and then they have multiple uh, uh, problems for them to solve within them, so as you're grading them. Now, what I like about this is that the learner has a chance to kind of hop around, learn a little bit of test-taking skills, and then also they can go back and correct those, those mistakes if you have them. Um, as you move through, additional more tests, so here's chapter two, moving on and so forth. So, cumulative tests, workbook A, workbook B, and then your answer sheet. So if we wanna take a little bit about the answer sheets here, so you can see it's broken down by your workbook, by the end of the year tests, cumulative review tests as well. So obviously table of contents and you can actually go through and find out how to score the workbooks and also the tests as well. Um, this is first grade math, so might not, you might not need that as much, but if you are upgrading it quickly, um, that, that could be helpful. So that's the Math Mammoth Grade 1 curriculum. Really nice curriculum. You get four books, so it feels very complete. You can imagine your learner going through about a chapter a month, spending maybe about 15, 20 minutes a day, maybe half hour, three times a week, whatever feels natural for you guys in your homeschool environment. Now, who is this for? Really good for independent learners. You can really imagine, you know, giving Johnny or Janie uh, a couple pages, having them go sit and do the work, maybe assisting them just a little bit if they're a little stuck, or explaining that next problem set. Now there's a little bit of reading, so if your learner's not up to that learning level, of that reading level, you may have to assist them a little bit in that, so do, do be aware of that. Also really good for the get in, get it done learner. So you can imagine a learner who just wants to be like, hey, dad, I gotta get this stuff done. I gotta get outside and go dig up for worms or <laughs> bugs or whatnot. So you can imagine them saying, I'm just gonna get my work done. This is great for those type of learners. Also, if you're a parent concerned about testing practice, kind of learning that muscle of testing, this is a great way to kind of introduce testing into your math environment. Maybe giving them a time test, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever is best for your learner. Also, nice budget if you're price conscious, $50. Really good price for a math curriculum and it can last you all year long. So really good point there. Lots of practice as you saw in the examples. Many, many, many practice problems. 60 pages for a chapter. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of problems to practice. So really cool for that kind of that learning that muscle of math. And also really nice for big families. So you can imagine sending your learner off to go do some pages and you go and attend to, you know, two or three other kids and you're kind of spread thin, this is a good math curriculum for that. Now, who is this not for? Kinesthetic learners. There's not very many manipulatives. You're going to have to bring those into the homeschool environment. You have to bring them in to do some additional uh, uh, teaching if there are some issues there. So if you have a kinesthetic learner, that might be a little bit of a challenge. Next, if you want your learner to attack problems from multiple angles, maybe using an abacus, balance beam, not, not in this here. So if you've got a little bit of an issue there, you may have to bring those in as manipulatives and spend a little bit more time. Also, if you have one-on-one -on -one learners where the parent needs to be interactive, now you can sit over the shoulder and help them with the problems, that's always there. But if they want you to like be creative and come up with different examples and different manipulative examples, that book doesn't support that. You'll have to do that on your own. So if that's a little bit of a challenge for you, uh, do know about that. So that's kind of a quick roundup kind of a nice little walkthrough of the Math Mammoth Grade 1 curriculum. So I hope you enjoy that. hope that helps you make a good decision in your math curriculum purchase. Thanks.